Okay, good morning. It's great to see everyone here. Uh, this has been uh, a long time coming, and we're really excited about uh, the turnout we've had this morning. So um, I'm Sandesh Dave. I'm the director of cardiovascular projects at the Institute for Future Health. And uh, I want to thank um, uh, our co-chairs, Jenis Guzman and Chris uh, Vijay. And this, um, you know, this idea started this summer, and the idea was for a local event to really start talking about cardiac amyloidosis. And it really has blossomed into, I would say, a regional and perhaps even national event. Uh, we have really a full um, audience here today, and we also have around 100 people or more um, on live stream. And we have a great representation from all the Valley institutions, which I think is really um, encouraging. And hopefully it'll be the first of uh, many events where we can engage um, our community here in Arizona on this important topic. I wanted to thank our sponsors. This was um, supported by an independent education grant from Pfizer. We also have support from El Nylum, the American College of Cardiology, Arizona, and the Institute for Future Health, a joint venture of ASU and University uh, of Arizona. I also want to thank some of our out-of-town attendees. Uh, raise your hand if you're from out of town. OK. Um, we have a pretty packed agenda this morning, and so we're going to take questions during the panel discussion. Uh, but feel free to put your questions into the YouTube chat, uh, whether you're in the room or you're on live stream. And if you do have a question on live stream, please write question. And if you have a particular person you're addressing it to, uh, go ahead and put their name. We'll have a coffee break at uh, 9.50 and lunch at 12.15. If you'd like CME credit uh, for in-person uh, attendees, um, we'll send a survey at the end of the meeting. And now I'd like to introduce uh, my um, co-chair, Dr. Chris Vijay. Uh, Dr. Vijay uh, has been really instrumental in helping organize this event, and he's multi-talented uh, physician. He's qualified in endocrinology, nephrology, lipidology, and heart failure. Uh, and he runs a nonprofit um, uh, for the Tibetan community in India. Um, and uh, without further ado, uh, Chris, I'd like you to introduce our uh, moderators for this morning.